Judd, that was one of the all-time great semi-finals. You must be buzzing. Yeah, it was an unbelievable match, really, from start to finish. There was hardly any balls missed. Safety was good. Um, everything was good, really. Uh, Ding uh, missed a few balls in the last frame, and that, and that was all that really turned the match. When you're involved in a classic like that, how difficult is it to maintain your composure under such pressure? Yeah, obviously, um, the longer the match went on, and I was hardly missing the ball. I, I, like obviously, in the back of my head, I was thinking, oh, I've got to miss sooner or later. But um, the crowd it were just fantastic, really, and supporting me, and just uh, managed to keep my composure and not miss anything easy. And that was the difference in the end. What about when Ding was 10-7 up? That was the first time we've really seen people ask questions of you in this championship. And you really had to dig deep to get back from that hole. Yeah, there was a lot of questions asked after that. Um, obviously, a uh, few of the people here uh, haven't seen me go behind in the tournament. Uh, I pretty much strolled through the first three rounds. Uh, didn't have too much of a test. So obviously, that was the real um, kind of big question was, was asked then. Uh, can, can I come back from it? And, and I think I answered it well. Um, it was nice just to kind of uh, refocus after I was 9-7 behind it and get away for the afternoon with my friends and family and kind of forget about it and get on with the next session. It was interesting watching your dad in the crowd during the introductions. He's really been getting fired up and he missed out on the China Open. So how satisfying is it for you? that you've got to the final of the World Championship with your dad actually able to watch it in the crowd? Yeah, it, it was obviously disappointing for him because he's supported me throughout my whole career and come to every tournament. And then to win in China when he wasn't there would, would have been a little bit disappointing, but, but obviously still good on the other hand. But to do it in front of my friends and family, that I've had so much support this week and obviously it brings a little bit of added pressure uh, knowing that you've got to try and produce in front of them, but it's just been unbelievable. OK, you've made it to the showdown. Your confidence seems to be sky high. You've got this feeling of invincibility, as you've said. Are you even concerned whether you face John Higgins or Mark Williams? Either way, you're facing a former champion. Yeah, obviously, um, it's going to be a tough game either way, and they're both experienced players. But obviously, if I go out and play anything like I, anywhere near like I have done the last two weeks, then I've got a good shot at it. If we rewind to five weeks ago, if someone had told you this would be higher than you pan out, would you have believed him? <laughs> Definitely not, no. No way. Um, it's kind of just gone match by match and just the confidence has come from somewhere and sort of produced my practice game in tournaments now. So it's a nice feeling, obviously, what hap whatever happens now, uh, I can go into next season uh, being proud of what I've done the last two tournaments. I suppose so your phone's going non-stop at the moment with people saying, can you get me some tickets? Have you got, have you got coach those coming up from down south now? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I've done so many interviews, I haven't had a chance to look yet. But I suppose though, that there, there's already been a lot of people here for, for the last uh, four or five matches. So I, I expect there'll be an extra couple as well tomorrow.